Hello, folks of the interwebs. I'm starting up this channel to try and bring to life the characters and stories I've tinkered with over the decades. Figure why not spend a year or so seeing where my art and hobbies can take me while working on college. Can at least not have any regrets and say I never gave the artsy path it a go. So on that note, for anyone who recognizes my other channel under my Maelstorm nickname, they'll know that I've slowly plotted around on various little game and story ideas. Links are in the comments below for that side of things. It was heavy on various little fan games, fan comics mostly, but there was some originals mixed in. Those originals of mine are what this particular channel is going to be built on. First on the game side, with Adobe having poured Flash and Action Script out like two-year-old milk, I'm going to be aiming to shift my new games into Unity. Breaks my heart how they squandered such a golden opportunity and use all the various apps and existing script to make their own game creation engine. Like, they could have literally leveraged their various 3D teams for modeling software, Photoshop to paint the model, mix and mode to rig it, audition to get the sounds going, an action script based thing like Flare 3D to pull it all together into a game, and Dreamweaver to design a website to market it on. Would have been a pipeline dream to have the entirety of production under one umbrella. Since people were already making games of action script, myself included, years before Unity was even a thing. Apparently, though, it's just not faded to be since they just kept letting the scripting parts die a sad, sad death for over a decade. Sitting that many rant aside, the first game I want to pull out of 2004 to resurrect was called Battle Pong. I had whipped up and posted on new grounds. Want to get that remodeled, modernized, and made even more chaotic as it morphs into a new and complete beast. Given the simpler design of it, feel like it would be a good start for tinkering with Unity. Then there was the side scrolling shooter Bolt Blaster from even earlier at 2003. Want to get that twisted tale finally told in all its oversized mecha glory. Pondering whether to keep it as a side scroller or making it be a top-down shooter like its original incarnation I first wrote in Turbo Pascal in high school even further back in 1996-ish. Outside of those two, there was also a parody RPG I started to tinker on in Flash that'll get rewritten into its new incarnation to stand on its own. Beyond those, I also want to use all the things I've worked on the parody fan games and breathe some other life into them as standalone creations for side-scrolling platformers. That'll be further down the road, though, once I get Unity under the belt. Then, moving from games to other content, I have a number of stories to get out of my head and into the world for folks to check out. The short story Farmer Rick will get overhauled and fleshed out. Pantheon Flights will get completely told and many others on the list few other projects then I'm also trying to figure out is getting the funny bits of the 20 years I spent in cable tech support turned into something since that job. Whoa mama, that was a stress-filled wild ride. There's other things even further back on the burner like a tabletop RPG I had made. It was built up after a long running Dungeons and Dragons campaign with a world me and friends built that I'd like to see come to life in some form. Basically I intend to be busy until the end of time and my bones disintegrate. At least for the immediate future, though, I intend to push as much as I can for the next year and see what becomes of this art stuff as a business model. So if any of that strikes a chord with you, then do all the things to appease our YouTube overlord and leave a comment for me if you recognize any of those old projects of mine. And if it really, really strikes a chord with you, consider my Patreon to help me bring those things out of the past and into the future. Alrighty, thanks for hearing me out. Take care and be safe out there in internet land.